And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Bolo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Perth, Australia. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. So here we go, round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge. Oh, oh straight right. Rock him, shock him out of the suit here. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Allah, remember the name, Muhammad. 
Marsha, there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly.